In 1938, I fled Nazi Germany, leaving my lab and colleagues behind. Alone in Sweden, I wondered, could an atom really release such unimaginable power? I recreated my workspace with only a few instruments and piles of papers, determined to continue my research. Colleagues were bombarding uranium with neutrons, but the results didn't add up. The pieces were heavier than expected. I double-checked everything. Measurements, papers, calculations. It seemed impossible. Then it clicked. Uranium nuclei could split into smaller parts, releasing immense energy. Nuclear fission wasn't just theory. It was real. I wrote a letter to Otto Hahn, carefully explaining the calculations and the potential implications of this discovery. Imagine the uranium nucleus splitting like a tiny ball, releasing energy in a chain reaction that could power entire cities or destroy them. Hahn received the Nobel Prize for the discovery, but my contribution was overlooked. Yet I knew the truth of my work. Science isn't about recognition. It's about curiosity, courage, and understanding the secrets of nature. And to think, this world-changing discovery began with a woman quietly calculating in exile, with only pen, 